Hey guys, this is Kamlesh from PluginIndia.com. Um, it's 5:30 in the morning, and I'm in Pune, and I plan to um, head to Mumbai uh, in an electric car, the Mahindra Two here. Um, not many people have attem attempted this route. A couple of we just installed a couple of charging stations a um, few months back, and the idea is to try try out those stations and see if uh, Pune Mumbai is possible on an electric car. Um, so, my first pit stop is the Smoky Mountains charging point, Kandala, which is around 55 kilometers from here, Pune. So, uh, I should reach there by around 6.40. Um, so, yeah, I think let's get started and I'll see you there in Kandala. Uh, we have exactly 100 kilometers charge. So, let's see how it goes. You see that board out there? It says electric vehicle charging station. Yeah, they're there. So we are at the Kandala Smoky Mountains charging station. And, uh, and uh, Eva is charging. This is Mr. Aladdin's shop. And that's where the socket is. Hey guys, I've reached the Kandala charging station. Um, the SOC, the state of charge remaining is 55% when I charged, when I started charging. Um, it's, the car is charging now. I hope to charge for around uh, 40 minutes, maybe. Um, technically, I could go directly to Navi Mumbai without charging here, stopping here. Uh, because uh, there's going to be a downhill slope from now. Um, we're going to descend from 600 meters. In Kandala to around 100 meters or 50 meters below uh, so there's going to be a huge downhill and I'm expecting a region energy back into the battery pack worth 15 kilometers uh, but then you know I decided not to take a chance I'm doing this for the first time and also uh, we can spend less time in Navi Mumbai uh, just top up there uh, and another thing why is this station called the Smoky Mountain Charging Station uh, I'll show you why
Okay, after a long journey, I reach G3 Motors at Nerul, Navi Mumbai. So this is a Mahindra showroom, Reva showroom. Uh, and uh, they have a Reva demo car here. And uh, I uh, could uh, easily charge my car here. Uh, and there was a lot of help by people who, you know, recognized us and helped us uh, in um, ensuring that, you know, our cars are charged. And surprise, surprise, here's Rafa and Farah Halim from E2 owners in Mumbai. And the blue one, blue E2O is theirs. Uh, so both the cars are charging now. Rafay and Farah Halim from E2 Owners from Mumbai. Uh, okay. Say hi to our viewers. Hi. Uh, what do you think about the charging experience at G3 Motors Navi Mumbai? So we've come down, uh, this is a quarter way point to, from Mumbai to Pune and we came uninformed. Uh, the location is great first of all, easy to find, uh, nice parking space, a lot of place to put your car. They've got a charging point right up front. The staff is very friendly. Security is helpful. They even reversed and parked the cars for us in the right spot so that our car could reach the plug point. I think we've just been offered tea and tea right there. We don't feel like freeloaders at all. <laughs> <laughs> we feel like part of the family. Yes. So, yeah, it's been a good experience. What about you, Paul? Yeah, I think I agree with him. And to sum up the entire experience, we came uninformed 25 kilometers from home yeah. uh, with a 76 person charge left, very hospitable, they allowed us free charging everywhere, be it mobile phones yes. or... Yes, so mobile phones are getting charged, yeah. you can see that right here. Yeah. Everything is getting charged, they are getting charged, the car is getting charged, the phone is getting charged. Felt welcome, didn't feel like out of place, oh, yes. don't know them yet. Yes. Okay, so GT Motors is a good place to charge your car. And there are two yes. GT Motors over here. Take the one right on the highway. Yes. Okay, thank you guys. Alright. I agree. Uh, the G manager at the G3 Motors was very friendly and he all, all welcomed all E2 owners to you know, charge here and make use of the facility. We then travelled to Santa Cruz, uh, which is where Rafay and Farah Halim stay and we charged both the cars. I also wanted to talk to you guys about the efficiency uh, that we achieved today while driving from Pune to Mumbai. Uh, yeah, this is a screenshot of uh, the touchscreen uh, system of the car where it shows you what is your efficiency. Uh, on this date, for example, on 17th, 18th, and 19th, my efficiency is be ha has been around 84 watt hours per kilometer. And watt hours per kilometer is something that is used uh, to uh, to uh, highlight an efficiency of an electric car or an electric bike uh, internationally. Uh, if you notice today, uh, usually my efficiency has been around the 80s. In around the 80s, every day when I drive in Pune, uh, I don't use the AC in Pune because the weather is nice there. Um, so, uh, it's around 80, 80, 85, but then uh, I've seen some people uh, in Mumbai and Delhi where they use AC a lot in summers especially, uh, where the efficiency usually is around more than 90 or 100 uh, in some cases uh, per kilo, 100 watt hours or 90 watt hours per kilometer. Uh, but in this case, uh, it's surprising that I achieved a efficiency of 64 watt hour per kilometer. That I think the reasons behind that is one uh, because we uh, went downhill uh, for for a lot of time uh, from Kandala to uh, to Navi Mumbai, and when you go downhill, the electric car is extremely efficient. It generates uh, energy f for the battery, and uh, that energy is stored back into the battery. And again, you know that because of that, your efficiency is more. And then we also went on a straight line, and the car is extremely efficient in a straight line. Uh, it's uh, one of the great features of electric cars. Like for example, if I travel for 45 kilometers, it just consumes energy worth 30 kilometers. So that's why you know uh, I I can see a huge increase in efficiency um, today when I went when I went on a long distance drive from Pune to Mumbai, uh, relative to the everyday of, of uh, everyday drives I, I do in in Pune. Uh, this is pretty interesting. I just want to share this with you guys. Uh, I think this is uh, something we all just strive for to, you know, get these green bars when you drive a electric car instead of getting yellow and red bars. Uh, when it, so if you're using this car, try try to strive to drive efficiently and get the green bars going. Hey guys, this is Kamlesh. Uh, today I'm going back from Santa Cruz to Baner in Pune. Wow. Um, so thanks Rafi for hosting me tonight Most welcome and uh, you can see the cars behind right there Eva and T2PO Eva T2PO <laughs> yeah so yeah Rafi so next week I hope I'll see you in Pune um, yeah completely. we hope to be there and uh, it's yeah. gonna be fun uh, you've already proved to us that this ride is possible
So we are here charging my car. Better see them. See the car, man. It's getting charged. That's my e wire. Um, see the wire here. The wire is here, and this is a waterproof <coughs> charging station. Pretty cool, isn't it? It's like uh, the classic Indian jugad, as they say. Pretty awesome, huh? That is pretty awesome work. Okay, I reached the base of the Ghat uh, and the distance from Nerul to here was 45 kilometers but then I the car just consumed 30 kilometers worth of energy and I had 71 kilometers worth of uh, SOC left. So that this, this efficiency really uh, kept me in the comfort zone. I could climb the Ghat easily without no tension and no worry. I reached the Kandala community station where I charged and Alauddin was waiting for me as usual and there was no problem there. When I got to the station, the SOC in my battery pack was around 44%, that is 44 kilometers left. Uh, I charged the car for half an hour and that um, gave me 55 kilometers worth of range, which I could uh, drive easily up to, uh, to Baner, Pune. Um, maybe if you guys come here and if you are going to Pune, um, maybe uh, you could uh, charge for up to 65 kilometers to just to be comfortable. Um, so I think that's it and then now I'm going heading back to Pune. So at last we made it uh, from back from Pune, Mumbai to Pune. So what we learnt in this trip is there are two charging stations between uh, Pune and Mumbai. Uh, one at Kandala and one at uh, Nerul in Mumbai. Maybe there could be one more um, be uh, before the guard starts at, uh, at the, near the toll plaza. Uh, if you want to you know, come be comfortable, you want to put the AC on, you want to go faster than what I did. Um, maybe it makes sense to have other station. I will speak to Mahindra guys about it. Uh, I guess uh, once I give them the feedback, uh, they will set up a station there. <clears throat> then I think doing Mumbai Pune would be, is, would be a piece of cake. Um, in fact, even now, uh, the efficiency, what I noticed, even at driving at the speeds of 60 to 65 kilometers at a constant speed, uh, efficiency is pretty incredible. Uh, um, some of you might think that this exercise is, is pretty useless. Uh, and uh, maybe it's not practical to do this. Uh, many people who have petrol cars, you guys might think this is not practical. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I mean, you, you're waiting more time, you're spending more time for travel, um, and uh, you, um, you, you're not going faster than you, sh you usually would in a petrol car. But think about this, you've saved uh, the country around 20 liters of petrol, 
you know, to polluting the air uh, in the Western Ghats in mountain area in Lonavala and Kandavala is so beautiful, and you are polluting uh, polluting the air. such a beautiful place. Um, so think about that. Uh, that's important um, for people to uh, truly appreciate this moment. Uh, if we want to move away from oil, we all have to slowly, you know, move away from. Um, from using oil, um, if you stop giving your money to the oil companies, um, I think um, that will slowly make uh, people realize that uh, what we have been doing all these years is just not sustainable. Uh, in fact, oil is an amazing resource. It's 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 such it's so energy dense, and um, uh, we just what we're doing now right now is just we're just burning it it's, instead of you know using uh, better technologies to move ourselves. Blogging about this more in uh, pluginindia.com. Um, do uh, check my site. It's not my site; it's a community site. I keep telling that to people. Uh, I don't make any anything out of it. It's um, all for for promoting uh, electric vehicles and clean energy. So support my site. Um, spread the word. And now, Pune, Mumbai guys, go use the stations and drive. Um, showcase uh, your electric car and you know, spread the word. Later. Thank you.